My name is Stephanie Batchelder, and I am a pulmonary arterial hypertension patient. For probably about 15 years, I was symptomatic, having shortness of breath, swelling of the legs, I was passing out, I had extremely high blood pressure, I was very obese, morbidly obese, and I just kept being told by my doctor that I was fat and lazy and had asthma and to go exercise. I wasn't sent to any kind of specialist or anything like that. And it wasn't until I was in complete respiratory, uh, right heart and kidney failure that the doctors finally looked at my case and started doing some tests, which included the echocardiogram and then the right heart cath, which confirmed the diagnosis. It only took me about a month to be diagnosed once I was that sick. But again, 15 years symptomatic with no diagnosis. When I was first diagnosed, I went home and I looked up the information and I was horrified. I was resigned that it was a death sentence for me and that there was nothing that I could do to get better, uh, even with the medication that my doctor had put me on that was supposed to help me breathe better. I didn't see myself living much longer. Well, the first therapy wasn't the right therapy, and unfortunately, I progressed from stage three to end stage. So again, when they had me, I was already in right heart failure. I was in stage three in diagnosis, but stage four, by 2013, they told me to get my affairs in order that I probably wasn't gonna see the end of that year. Um, so at that point, my doctor had tried a different therapy, two therapies, a combination therapy, and so, Probably within six months of starting that therapy, I was off the oxygen. I was uh, blown out of the water, the six minute walk test. Um, I walked like 300 meters further than I had in the previous walk test six months before. So, and I got off the oxygen. Um, at that point, as I was getting better, I was able to lose a little bit of weight and I had uh, been involved in a weight loss program, but they kept telling me that they would not do the surgery on me to have the gastric surgery because I was too sick and I'd never make it through the surgery. My pressures came down enough on that combination therapy that they did the gastric sleeve surgery. And I've lost 250 pounds, which has further absolutely further improved my condition. I'm now on a triple therapy. I live a normal life. My pressures went from in the hundreds to down in the low 30s now. I think it's important to first of all get diagnosed and get the right kind of meds. There's 14 approved treatments out there now, whereas there wasn't several years ago. And people are living longer with the right treatment. And each case is individual. I can't say that somebody would be able to go through exactly the same steps that I and my doctor did and have the same results. So it's an individual case by case thing to um, be able to find that right medication, that right combination. And some people have other conditions that, I mean, I had multiple morbidities, uh, comorbidities, I think they called them. And I still live with health problems, but I live a better life than I lived previously. And I'm grateful for the little things and I don't sweat sweat the big things anymore because I know that I've been through something very, very big and I was fortunate enough to make it through it. The questions that I get and the advice that I then give after these questions are about the side effects with the medicines. And I tell people that those side effects can be very, very, very difficult to live with on a daily basis and especially if you're living with a family, you have a family to take care of, you have a job that you're working, you know, it's hard. It's very hard to deal with joint pain and jaw pain and diarrhea and, you know, I mean, to, to just, you have to carry an extra change of clothes with you sometimes. I mean, you have to make adjustments, but I live, every day managing my symptoms when I have them with over-the-counter medicines. Um, I've been fortunate enough that I can do that and I'm also, I, I tell people I bullied my way through those side effects and the titrations up on the medications to 
go up to the highest dose that they wanted me on. And um, I, I, like I said, still have the side effects, but they're more manageable now. And um, you have to stick with it. Absolutely have to stick with it. I tell people that I'm no longer dying of my disease. I'm living with it. My name is Stephanie Batchelder, and I am aware that I'm rare.